Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Renee Blocks Young, a platform where we simply discuss, critique, analyze, simply talk about sport of boxing in level head of mature, coherent fashion. Definitely, man. Hey, subscribers since day one and recent subscribers. Thank you guys so much, man. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much for tuning into the Flash Lives. Thank you so much for tuning in, you know, to the premieres of my videos such as this and the playback family. I appreciate you all. Kings and queens, you guys are all awesome. If this is your first time listening if you love the sport of boxing this is a place for you just go ahead and hit the subscribe button you know um hit the notification bell too so you know when i do these flash lives so you know when i do you know the premieres of my videos such as this uh you know etc etc just to be a part of the community where we discuss and chop up the sport of boxing man definitely in an unbiased you know fashion definitely man i just love sport of boxing it's as simple as that keep it simple you know what i'm saying so i want to talk about this man the whole Consecchio, Consecchio, however you want to pronounce his name, uh, all due respect, you know, Robson Consecchio. Um, in the lead up to the fight, okay, first and foremost, I got to say this, man. In the lead up to the fight before Valdez, you know, before it was discovered that Valdez popped dirty, um, I was leaning towards Valdez to win, okay? Uh, that was just that was just me because, as I've said several times, um, you know, I appreciate the trajectory of Oscar Valdez, man, especially when he beat Burchelt, which is one of his you know, uh, landmark wins, I guess we can say, um, you know, amazing win over Burchell. I was leaning towards Burchell in that fight, even though it was a 50-50 fight, you know, and several fights before that. I mean, I was, I have just been, you know, I've had my eye on Oscar Valdez for a minute, especially ever since he moved to Eddie Reynoso, you know what I'm saying? Um, as, you know, Eddie Reynoso being his trainer. Um, and, you know, I, I, given a lot of credit to Valdez and I've said it so many times you know what I'm saying and which is one of the reasons why I had Oscar Valdez winning mind you let me repeat this was before this whole thing of him popping dirty for that fetamine methamphetamine whatever the heck they call it whatever I'm not a freaking scientist and I'm not going into the details of all that you know what I'm saying but uh he popped dirty and that's it okay let's just let's just keep it simple you know what I'm saying um and the whole controversy with, you know, y'all know the story. I don't have to repeat, repeat it a gazillion of times. You know, them uh, giving him no repercussions or any type of, you know, discipline or anything of that nature, you know, com concerning the, the fight. Maudi Suleiman giving it a go. They fought. And ever since that, ever since that whole ordeal, you know, and the controversy happened, I, my, my interest is totally turned off. I mean, obviously, I was, I was going to watch the fight. But ever since all that happened, man... And they gave it a go that the fight was going to go down. Still, I, I didn't. I, I was like, I'm not going to watch this fight. That's nonsense. I did watch the undercard though. Hey, the undercard was great, man. I really enjoyed the undercard. Great fights, great you know performances, you know, from the fighters in the undercard. It was it was fun, 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 fun night of fights. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. But when that Consecchio fight and Valdez fight happened, I just turned it off. Uh, nothing against Consecchio at all or Consecchio, however heck you pronounce it. Uh, those who know this platform, man, I, I suck at names. I just suck, man. I, I'm sorry. I just, I'm horrible with pronunciation of names. With I don't know, man. Whatever. But nothing against Consecchio. Nothing against him at all, okay? I mean, you know, great fighter. But I thought, you know, I personally thought it was going to be a warm-up fight. And I was definitely proven wrong. I think that, you know, even though I didn't watch the fight, from what I heard, from what I heard, it was a close fight. From the judges' scores, not the crooked judge who who messed it all up, 110 to 117. Doesn't that isn't that funny how it reminds us of the Fox and Maestra fight, Gloria? You know that Gloria judge, the racist judge. Um, I mean, racist because you know the story there, okay? Um, you know, horrible, horrible, horrible ruling and judging. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it's funny because you see the same thing. If I'm not mistaken, Gloria uh, judged uh, or scored the Maestra Fox about 110, 117. I think it's this, it was the same thing or very close to the same. You know, with this guy, Blee or Blay, however the heck you pronounce that name, this judge who 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 ruled 110 to 117, the other judges ruled it quite closely. I, I did see the scorecards after the fight, though, because because I, I just got to make this point clear, okay? You know, I like to lay the foundations before we get to the to, to, to nitty gritty of all this. Um, and I got you know I want to show you some things and articles and stuff like that in a moment. Um, you know, it's just it's just win or lose, even if Konsekio won. Um, you know, a lot of people calling it robbery. I don't know, man. I'm not even going to say it was. I don't know anything. I didn't watch the fight, and I don't really care about what happened, okay? All due respect to Conseco, no. Nothing, like I said, nothing against him. It's the whole thing with Valdez and his side and his team and all that happened, you know? 
love Valdez, and I've said it before, man. I think he can come back, okay? I've said this before. You know, I think we can give a fighter, fighters a second chance. You know what I'm saying? Whatever race color they are. And you already know I got to make this clear, too. If you're a new listener, I don't do the race stuff, okay? I just don't do that, man. I'm neutral. I be a, I'm as neutral as possible, and I just love the sport of boxing, and that's it, okay? I don't care what color they are. I don't care if they're green, yellow, red. I don't care, man. I just, I just love the sport of boxing, and that's it. I appreciate all athletes. I think all athletes have a second chance. I think Big Baby Miller has a second chance. I think, you know, uh, Pascal, I don't know because, <laughs> I don't know, but I think he has a second chance. I think all these fighter, fighters have second chances. You know what I'm saying? Canelo has a second chance. Uh, I gave I gave my rant, ladies and gentlemen. Those who just subscribed, thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. And But new listeners, just make this clear. Check out my channel. I've, I've gave my criticism to Canelo. <laughs> oh my gosh. And at, to the, to a degree, to such a degree where, you know, people who don't know me and they just glimpse in real quick and watch a video, you know, people who really don't know my channel. I mean, you know, the little they tuned into before at that time, you know, you suck and you're a freaking Canelo hater and this is a bunch of nonsense and trash. And, you know, it's like, whatever, <laughs> but it's all good. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't affect me, but you know, I, why am I saying this? Because I have given my criticism to Canelo. Definitely, definitely. And all these guys. You know what I'm saying? But I, I think they do deserve a second chance. You know what I'm saying? If, if they clean up and then, you know. But all these guys, you know. But, um, you know, that's just that's just my point of view on that. So, so I think that, you know, why am I saying this? Because I think I think Oscar could come back, man. I've said it before. And I think he could come back if he, if he, if he cleans up gets his act together you know what i'm saying but this whole wbc mauricio suleiman stuff you know that that's where it makes it really controversial and it makes all this really fishy you know what i'm saying consecchio and his team his manager okay um they're they're filing a complaint now they're filing a complaint against mauricio suleiman so let's get right to it okay so but just just to make it clear um i didn't watch the fight and win or lose i heard i heard that you know just by looking i know i know i know okay let me say this just by looking at a guy's face, you can't determine who won or lost, okay? I mean, you've got body shots, too, and stuff like that. You know, there's there are other things to judge rather than just looking at a guy's face and how beat up he looks. Kind of reminds me of, um, kind of reminds me of a Triple G versus Canelo rematch. Wow, Triple G's face was freaking ouch, you know what I'm saying? Um, wow, that was a great fight, too, you know? Great performance by both, you know? Nothing against Triple G at all. Great performance by both in a rematch and in the first fight. Very close fights, man. Um, I had Canelo winning the second fight. You know, the draw was the first fight. Even though a lot of people may say, oh, no, Triple G really won and this and that. I don't know, man. Whatever. Um, it is what it is. It was a draw. Second fight, I think that Canelo boxed out Triple G. I think he won quite convincingly, you know. But um, when you look at Oscar Valdez's face, man. Ouch, man. Ouch. Looks like looks like Conseco was putting that work, man. You know, like I said, I mean, win or lose, whoever won, whoever lost. Um, yeah, no. A lot of people said that, you know, Conseco won. And, and just, uh, you know, just, you know. Upon retrospect here, I think that, let me say this also before we get to the nitty gritty, okay? I think in retrospect, I think that, um, I said this before also in a video, I mean, my last video on Oscar Valdez, not the live session, but the last video, you can check it on my channel. Um, you know, I mentioned that, you know, he's feeling the pressure. He's feeling the pressure. And that was before, if I remember correctly, that was before he uh, came out and said that he feels, you know, all the pressure. The backlash, you know what I'm saying? And I went live, I did a flash live before that video and talked about he's going to receive a lot of backlash. He's going to receive a whole lot of backlash from this, man. The community is going to stand up. When I say community, I talk about boxing fans in general who love the sport of boxing. People who love the sport of boxing. They're going to speak up and speak out. And we have seen a lot of people speak up and speak out. And that's what we got to do, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we got to do, okay, to have people clean up the sport of boxing for example real quick man real quick i pushed a video also before the whole fox my ass that a dilemma okay i pushed a video on how gilbert mendoza or whatever his name is okay the, the president of wba um how he has you know taking into consideration what boxing community has been saying about all these freaking silly nonsense senseless belts out there and what is what is what is the president of wba doing i've said this time and time again he's cleaning it up as far as the belts He's cleaning it up. He's reducing the amount of belts in the WBA. That's great. Why? Because people are speaking out, ladies and gentlemen. And I applaud that, man. We got to continue speaking out. A lot of people are speaking out against this, you know, this whole thing, this atrocity that WBC and all this whole thing, man. You know, 
And, and that's what we got to keep doing, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we got to keep doing. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we got Conseco here, man. There, he's, he's filing a complaint. Let's get right to it, okay? Um, so, we got here, uh, link in the description of all this, ESPN.com, you know, and we're going to get to uh, Twitter, whatever, all these links in the profiles um, in the description, okay? So, it says here, Batterelli. I don't have to, you know, this is, if I'm not mistaken, this is Conseco's manager, okay? Batterelli. Sorry if I pronounce it, mispronounce it, whatever. Um, so, I don't have to repeat everything that has been said a gazillion of times, okay? So, out there, everybody knows what's going on. Batterelli said, it's a joke. This guy is not qualified to judge a world fight. He's talking about the judge, okay? Who appointed him? I think we know who appointed him. <laughs> this all is a freaking mess. Okay, bleep it. Now, you, I keep it clean here, okay? It's a freaking joke, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Ouch, man. And, you know, and that's the outcry of all of us, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I, I think that there are several points I want to talk about in this video, okay? I think that I've been optimistic about it, ladies and gentlemen. I've been optimistic that the sport of boxing is going to get cleaned up, but I think it, it's possible that it's going to get worse. It's probably going to get worse than better. Sometimes that's how it is. When there's a house that's, uh, you know, horribly maintained and it has to be, you know, um, it has to be destroyed and built up again or whatever, it, it gets messier before it gets better. And I think that's what's going to happen. And I think that's what we're seeing and we're witnessing, you know, in the sport of boxing right now, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? WBA had to suspend uh, this Gloria lady, that Gloria judge on the Myers to the Fox fight, you know, about, they, subs you know, they suspended her. I know it's controversial. Maybe they should just, you know, they should just eliminate her or whatever, but they suspended, they're trying to take action here. Okay. Now, Consecchio and his team, they're, they're filing a complaint and the actual judge, Blee, Blay, whatever the dude's name is, who scored at 110, 117, if I'm not mistaken, you know, on Valdez's uh, uh, behalf. He's coming out and fessing up, man. So you see it, ladies and gentlemen, and now Consecchio's team is filing a complaint. And they're saying this is a freaking joke. And that's where a lot of the boxing community and the world at large, ladies and gentlemen, who, who, who are involved in the sport of boxing. When I say involved, I'm not just talking about fans. I've said it before in that last video I talked about, when, you know, in this whole thing. That you got, you got prominent names, ladies and gentlemen in the sport of boxing you got you got fighters you know of reputable reputation who are who are of you know noteworthy rep reputation they're speaking out against all this corruption and stuff that's going on you know what i'm saying excuse me and the world is talking about this man and that's what we got to do and i just got to reiterate that you know what i'm saying and everybody's saying the same thing this is a joke this is a joke and it's getting to the degree ladies and gentlemen Fighters from now on, and I, I think that this is a part of a cleansing, man. I think that this is a part, you know, of the sport getting cleaned up. Like I said, sometimes it has to get worse than better. Managers and teams, from now on, I think, man, they're going to start calling out these 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 uh, presidents of these sanctioned bodies. If they do something fishy, they're going to call them out, man, and they're going to take them to court, blah, blah, blah. What just happened recently with Wilder and, and Fury? I don't follow all that law stuff. I'm not a freaking lawyer. I don't know. But what did he do? What did he do? The arbitration stuff. He won. Wilst or while. Bob Aaron was blabbing his mouth off. Uh, 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 Eddie Hearn blabbing his mouth off. Tyson Fury blabbing his mouth off. Anthony Joshua blabbing their mouths off about fighting each other for undisputed in the heavyweight division. Mind you, I think that's a great fight. I'm not going to even knock that. No way I'm not going to knock that. But things got to be fixed up, man. And I don't get into that whole controversy of the gloves and stuff like that. That's not me. I don't have the brains for that, okay? I'm not a freaking glove expert. And you don't really don't have to be much of a glove expert. Just you can see with the photos and stuff. But whatever. I'm not even going to get into that, okay? I'm not even going to get into that. That's not my area, okay? But why am I saying this? Wilder, you know, he went to the arbitration stuff. He got the win. And that's why the trilogy is going down. It should go down at least. I don't know about Fury. I've talked about that a long time ago. Oh my gosh, I've talked about that a long time ago. And I've been saying I doubt the trilogy is going to even happen. So we'll see. Hopefully it goes down. But congrats to Wilder for that. Why am I saying this, ladies and gentlemen? Because we're going to see teams coming out, man. When they see fishiness going on, they're going to come out, speak out. Managers are going to speak out more. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to they're gonna challenge these heads and these authorities in the sport of boxing that do wrong things, man. And, and, and it's getting to the point, you know, where... 
let's get to the point where we have here, you know, um, Consecuo's manager shouts out to him. Definitely, man. He's saying this is a freaking joke. This is all a freaking mess. It's a freaking joke. You see, ladies and gentlemen, and, and people are going to have to speak out more and more against these kinds of things. And I think that's how boxing is going to get cleaned up to a certain degree. Maybe it's not going to be perfect. Of course not. No, no sport is perfect, ladies and gentlemen. Let me clarify that, too. There's some fishiness one way or another in all sports. There's some fishiness one way or another in all sports. Let's just let's just get that straight. You know, obviously some sports are more fishy and, and, and more, you know, fishy, fishier and more corrupt than others. And boxing is one of them, okay? <laughs> it, you know, boxing is one of them. So I mean, yeah. So let's continue here. So, you know, it's a freaking mess. It's a and then and then it says here, you know, the 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 you know um Consecuo's manager, why do you need a drug test if the guys can run over when it's good for them? He added, it's not fair, it's really not fair. Now, this is what I want to focus on here and what he's saying here, you know, um, Consecuo's manager. I hope Suleiman considers my complaint. <laughs> uh, you know, the whole the press is talking about it in Brazil, blah, 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 blah. You can read everything else. Okay, so um, he hopes that, you know, Suleiman considers the complaint. I personally think uh, Suleiman's not going to consider it. You know, that's just me. But who knows? He might. I don't know. I don't freaking know. I don't know these guys. I don't talk to Suleiman. I don't know what's going on in his brain. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he will, maybe he won't. The right thing is for him to consider and to overturn this whole thing. Strip, strip uh, Valdez of the bell, or I don't know, man. But I think something has to be done here. And I think that, I reiterate, man, managers are going to come out more. Fighters are going to speak out more. Community in general is going to speak out more when they see these freaking atrocities that go on in the sport of boxing. And now... You know, Consecuo's manager with this complaint is saying that, you know, I hope Con Suleiman considers, the, uh, you know, I don't think he will, man. <clears throat> I just don't think he will. Hopefully he does. But why do I not think he's going to, you know, consider, Ma Maestro Suleiman's going to consider this complaint? Because look how far he's gone in this fight, man. Look how far he has gone and all these things that has ha that have happened. I mean, come on now. It's too many. It's too many things. It's too many things. I think um, this is going to be tough, man, to overturn and to. But who knows, man? Maybe my Lucio Suleiman will be like, okay, I, it's, it's all good. I'll, 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 I'll grant your petition or whatever, right? But um, this is another thing here. Everybody saw it. I'm sure if you didn't, um, you know, the, the, it's getting to the degree, like I was saying earlier. Judges are starting, you know, I, I know the judge is being, you know, criticized up and down and all around. And I get it. And he deserves to be criticized. And he deserves to be called out. He deserves it, okay? Um,. He, this judge, apparently, in the context of what he's saying here, um, he has a gazillion of years in judging, okay? This guy is a freaking, he should be considered an expert as a judge. Um, but according to his ruling, that just freaking discredited him all the way. All the way, ladies and gentlemen. All the way. And he's blaming, you know, the crowd. He's blaming the cameraman. He's blaming, you know, that he didn't wake up right. He's blaming he didn't drink his coffee in the morning. He's bombs just kidding, man. <laughs> And what does it say here? Considering these distractions, <laughs> but it's crazy because he has a gazillion years and, 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 you know, in the context of this whole essay that he wrote, I have, you know, I mean, you could just go up there more. I have, you know, a judge to the 200 fights, refereed 500. I, I, you know, did this and that and the amateurs and blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm the best of the best. And I, you know, you can't touch me. I'm untouchable and I'm the best. And I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and then he starts to blame all these other people. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But um, he said, considering these distractions, I honestly, thought, I honestly thought I would be able to do my job 100%. No excuses. But at the same time, you're, you're bringing up all these excuses. You know, link in the description of that article, whatever. You know, he, 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 but hey, I got to give him credit for speaking out. I got to give him credit for speaking out. Because ladies and gentlemen, let's be real here. Let's be real here. How many judges have done this? Nobody. Maybe in the history of the sport of boxing, when you go back to yesteryear and, you know, the historical days... I don't know, man. I don't go too back, you know, with history and the sport of boxing. I've said it time and time again. Out of all these platforms, all these platforms are experts concert, con con compared to me. I don't know much about boxing at all. I'm just learning and I love the sport. It's as simple as that. You know, maybe I get things wrong here and there. Whatever. I don't care. That's how I grow. That's how we all grow, right? Anyways, uh, but yeah, this guy, I, you know, I give credit to the Blee, Blay, whatever that dude's name is, however you pronounce that name, that judge. Who's coming out and, and, and he, he he's fessing up to his errors. That's cool. Okay? But there shouldn't be any excuses. Because he says in the same context, you know, there, there should there's, there shouldn't be no excuses. 
So with all those gazillions of years that he has, you know, judging the sport of boxing, you know, judging fights and being in whatever gazillion how many fights he's been in and refereed a gazillion of how many fights he's refereed, um, you should be able to maneuver around the crowd and the noise and, you know, them applauding when a fighter, a favorite fighter, you know, doesn't land a shot, you know, et cetera, et cetera. With all those, there shouldn't be any excuses. There shouldn't be any excuses. But at the same time, um, hey, shouts out to the judge. If I'm not mistaken, Luda Bella also shouts out the judge and saying, hey, shouts out to him for speaking up and, you know, fessing up to his errors. You know what I'm saying? So it's getting to the point, ladies and gentlemen, that, you know, I think that one of the purposes of this video is to obviously, you know, give you the information what's going on. And I think that the sport of boxing is going to be getting cleaned up. I think it's going to get cleaned up, you know, but it's going to be in an incremental fashion. Things are turning around because you can't get away, ladies and gentlemen. How many times have I said this in my platform that in this platform that that we're in a digital era, man, anything you say or do will be held against you in the court of virtual in the virtual in the virtual court of law. You're under the mic you're under the microscope, man. And I reiterate, man, I reiterate. I've said it. I said it in the flash live. I said it in the flash live right after Valdez popped dirty and before it even came out in interviews and said this. I said in the flash live, you can check it out on my channel. I said that Valdez, he's going to feel the pressure. He's going to, you know, the whole world is going to go against him because he he's going to be criticized off the charts. And because of that, he's felt the backlash, which is why I made a video after that, because he has stated in interviews, he feels the pressure. You know, he's getting criticized all over the place. Just look at, ladies and gentlemen, look at, look at the, so, look at social media, man. I mean, I understand and I get it, man. I'm not, you know, I'm not knocking them, but I think it's a, it's a very, you know, shallow uh, perspective when it comes to sport of boxing and the world in general. If you see the world in a biased fashion, or if you see a fighter in a biased fashion and you idolize that fighter and he can never do wrong, he or she can never do wrong, then you got to, you got a partial understanding when it comes to sport of boxing you know what i mean and i get it why am i saying this i get it there are there are biased fans out there you know there are fans out there who love valdez because he's you know mexican you know viva la raza you know I, i'm mexican i you know i love the raza man i mean you know what i'm saying but i'm not biased either just because the dude's mexican i mean i'm not gonna just because he, sp he speaks spanish 100 i'm like oh yeah yeah oscar valdez viva mexico yeah yeah I mean, I mean, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna justify something like this to this degree of corruption, I'm, I can't do that, man. That that goes against my integrity, what I stand for. And I, and I get it, man. You know what I'm saying? There are people out there that they don't care. You know, they they they, they, they love him because he's Mexican and that's it. And they don't care. They don't care if he cheated and, 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 they, and they promote him, you know, cheating more, whatever. I get it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying here is that, what I'm saying here is that the majority of people, a lot of people out there in social media, they're, oh my gosh, Every post to Oscar Valdez, go to go to Top Rank, you know, on Instagram, when they have a photo of, uh, of Oscar Valdez there, who should he fight next, and all these dumb questions or whatever, you know, I mean, whatever. Um, or what did you think of the fight, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh, all you see, all you see is T emoticons, emojis, whatever they're called, uh, 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 syringes, uh, you know, chi, and this and that. I mean, it's so much. It's overwhelming the criticism out there. Oscar Valdez feels it. Why am I saying all this? To prove my point and what I've been saying ever since this happened, Oscar Valdez is going to feel the wave of criticism, man. Legit criticism. And I think this all led to Valdez, Valdez's performance that he had against Conseco. You know, I think had this not happened, I think had he popped clean and, you know, went in there in a clean fight, focused, I think he would have won Conseco quite convincingly, man. Conseco, Conseco, however you pronounce it. I think a lot of this man really got to Valdez, man. I mean, and just look at just look at the face off. Just look at the first face off when he uh, faced off. I did watch the face off and stuff like that. And then another thing, man, the the, the scale thing, man, wow. Whether he, I don't even know if he if he made weight, man. But that's just another issue. You see the whole the whole lead up to this fight, ladies and gentlemen. It's just it's just question marks all around, man. All around, it's crazy. Had this not happened, had he popped clean. Had he been clean, you know, in, this, in the testing and all this stuff, his mind would have been clear. His mind would have been focused. This all jeopardized his performance, man. 
I didn't see the fight and I really don't care. You know, I, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna. I don't even count this as me as a fan, a boxing fan uh, as, of the sport of boxing, not a man fan. I, I don't consider this. I don't even count this fight, man. You know, I don't. I don't care. I hope Valdez cleans up and things of that nature. And I'll definitely be tuned into his next fight, whoever he fights. Hopefully, it's Shakur Stevenson because he called out Shakur Stevenson. That's another video. But I think all this stuff, all this that happened, man, all the criticism that he got and that he's getting to this day. But I'm talking about his performance. So all the criticisms that all the criticism that he got and leading up to this fight, I think it really jeopardized his performance. Really jeopardized his performance. You know. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, I think, I think the sport, you know, incrementally will be cleaned up. Maybe it'll get worse and better. And sometimes it gets like that, ladies and gentlemen, when things got to get cleaned up, but this is a good sign. And I think that this is going to happen more and more, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to happen more and more. People are going to speak out, you know, teams are going to speak out. Managers are going to speak out. Reputable sources, you know, prominent names, whatever, in the sport of boxing are going to speak out when they see atrocities like this. And that's how things are going to change, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be a part of things. That's going to be, a, a, a you know, one way on how things are going to change in the sport of boxing. And I got my hopes high, man. Now, concerning this, if, 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 if you know, as uh, Consecchio's manager said, I hope Mauricio considers this complaint. He probably won't. But I don't know, man. One way or another, Mauricio got to check what he's doing. And y'all know why. He has to check what he's doing, man. But I hope for the best, man. Renee Box Young, I thank you guys so much. What do you guys think, man? Do you think that the sport will get cleaned up? I think it will. But it's going to take a while. It's not going to be an overnight thing. A lot of us as boxing fans, we want an overnight We want an overnight solution. That's never going to happen. That's not life. That's not reality, reality, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of the times, maybe sometimes, yes. But a lot of the times, especially in a, in a, in, in a sport like boxing, things won't get cleaned up overnight, man. It's a process. That's life, man. You know, a lot of us want want a you know magic wand and we want to wave it over the sport and and say, oh, voila, everything's cleaned up now. No, of course not. We got to be realistic here. It's gonna take time. You know, but do you think that you think it will work? You think you think that there's gonna be change in the sport of boxing? I do. Go ahead and comment in the comment section. What do you think about all this, man? I appreciate each and every one of you, man. Links in the description of the, of the articles that we just saw. You know, if you're tuning in for the first time, you know, uh, this is a platform we simply discuss, critique, analyze. Simply talk about sport of boxing, level head of fashion, man. Um, if you love a sport of boxing, this is a place for you. Hit the subscribe, you know, uh, notification bell so you know when I do the premieres, so you know when I do my flash lives, you know, uh, playback family. Go ahead and comment in the comment section of this video. I appreciate you all, man. Renee Box Show, stay safe. Peace out, man.